So this is going to be my second take here with the Reclaimer 18. And as of right now, there have been no changes to the weapon. So my previous opinion still stands. I think this needs some kind of buff in order to make it more consistent. I'm not saying it needs to one shot from 15 meters, but some of the hit markers are weird and some of the one shots are weird. There just needs to be a little bit of consistency. For more or less, my attachments are staying relatively the same, but there are some minor changes. I'm gonna start with my first attachment here with the Kimura RYL-33 laser sight. Normally, I'm not a fan of these, but with how I use this weapon, it's not really a big deal because the laser is only visible in ADS, which if you're gonna be ADSing, you're probably quick scoping it, if that's what you want to call it. You're going to be aiming down sight very fast to get the kill and un -ADSing. So that's going to give you a large increase to ADS, sprint, fire speed, tax stand spread, and aim walking steadiness. And that's simple. You want to make sure you are aiming down the sights with this weapon. I've honestly never found success while hip firing. Over here to a stock, we're going to increase the aggressive play here with the hinge laugh light stock for aim walking speed, hip fire, tax stand spread, crouch movement speed, and movement speed. It's just going to help you get around the map quicker, help you with your aggressive play that you do need here with the Reclaimer 18. Another attachment targeted around aim down sight and sprint to fire speed is the rear grip where we have the center mass grip tape. It's going to be a large increase of 17% to the sprint to fire speed, then an additional 3% to the ADS speed. For my muzzle here, I am using the Bryson Choke. Definitely an attachment that didn't change because this is by far the best muzzle for this weapon. It's going to increase your shotgun spread by 38% also help you with things like hip fire and tax stance but the shotgun spread is the massive one here and the final attachment you need to run is a barrel with the discourager 900 heavy barrel it is going to increase your damage range none of the other barrels do that and after using it i'm sure you guys know this is a necessary attachment it's going to give you an extra 16 percent to the damage range along with seven percent to the bullet velocity there the recoil control is nice but that damage range is the target so i want you guys to go down in the comment section and let me know if you agree with that take it does need a buff or no i'm crazy and it doesn't need a buff i've seen some people love this thing i don't understand it but i've also seen some people definitely stand with my same opinion i think it's just wildly inconsistent i get some kills where i'm completely flabbergasted i'm like how did i get that but then i also get point blank with somebody i make sure i even scroll back the recording and see i hit them right in the chest is it just doesn't make sense here's also the rest of the loadout i'm going to be running here for the gameplay that you guys are 100 going to watch through watch me get aggressive watch me get some one shot kills and also watch some of the inconsistencies i'm talking about make sure you hit the like and subscribe button let's get into it so on my last shotgun video i believe it was the riveter i got asked to cover a shotgun on a different map and my response still remains the same i personally i i never use shotguns on maps outside of, of shipment i just don't think it's that worth it if that makes sense i think there's just better maps or i'm sorry when it comes to shipment it just falls in the perfect category for me because there's so much close range engagements and it's kind of i don't really need to think about it you know what i mean i could just play pretty simple pretty self-explanatory however i think i can make it work here on dos house or dos gross whatever you want to call this map i do need to uh watch the mini map a little better here There's our VTOL. I'm going to run away from this. I got collided for the second time in a shotgun video. And that's not a joke. Last, when I covered the Riveter. I'm sorry. I This is the inconsistencies I'm talking about, brother. The inconsistencies right here. I'm sorry. What was that? All right. I, I am going to rage a bit in this. It just makes sense, man. Unfortunately, this is the, the type of weapon where I may rage. May not nuke with it. I 
I may not nuke with it, but what I can guarantee is that I'll try to make it as entertaining as possible. All right, now I need to figure out. Nope, I'm good. I'm Just gonna sit right here. Cause I know how these spawns work. Bash UAV. I couldn't get away. It's all right. We are frying here. The other team has no interest in the OBJ though. Okay. A DNA bomb may be a tall task here. may be rather difficult, but I think I can possibly do it. I'm not really targeting it, especially because I'm, well, I'm not playing shipment, but I'm gonna try my best still. I'm good. We're just gonna back up, throw this here, get a UAV out. That's why. Advanced UAV, let's, let's do with the, do something with this. There's a guy in the back there, which is rather concerning. Okay, VTOL, drop it here. Another VTOL. I'm staring at my mini map here. Oh my God, advanced UAV. That's what I needed. Oh. Yeah, see, I wait, I let the uh, VTOL do the work for me on that DNA bomb. That is the positive side of this. That is the positive side of having streaks count to your DNA bomb right there. Is I can just sit there, kind of let it do the work. So there you go. I played a map outside of shipment and got a DNA bomb. Okay, advanced UAV back out. And there we go, that's technically a 30 gun streak, which means that's actually a true nuke. Oh, dude, I was looking at my map and then I stopped looking at my map and got absolutely imploded on. Got some time here to keep going. There we go. Going after this guy here. Howdy doody. Howdy doody. Well, that was a little bold. I'll be honest. That gunfight right there was definitely a little bold. I kind of wish the other team would press the objective a little more.
Okay. They're on the objective. And it looks like they have the sniper. Yep, there he is. There's that inconsistent. I, I didn't really struggle with that inconsistency. But there it is, live in action. That's 97. Very quick recording there. But maybe I'll do like meat or something for my next shotgun video. We'll just have to wait and see.